right more investigations and um, I was just sitting ruminating thinking about how basically these uh, upper class aristocrats and that type of thing right or basically voodoo practitioners right so when you have like the hex idea it's just basically a version of the voodoo right <clears throat> which obviously stems from uh, Africa and all that and when you basically look into it right and you sort of research into it a bit you see that the sort of upper class uh, European aristocracy right uh, have a um, sort of peculiar obsession right with African you know all things Africa right? see so basically you know when, when you're talking about these aristocrat people of European aristocrats or basically voodoo practitioners And uh, a lot of code, obviously, you know, there's going to be a lot of code in uh, this. I was looking this one, like, uh, you know, he, here, Mr. Tambourine Man, if you remember that. Right? You know, here, Mr. Tambourine Man, there's one about, about um, well, it's a lot of interesting ideas in it. But uh, root work, remember one, the TV series called Roots. You know, very famous TV series was called Roots. You know, so what was that about? You know, laying the groundwork for some voodoo hex or something, right? Um, you know, and obviously they used the name just the name itself in a lot of stuff like aircraft. You know, all these American, uh, you know, military things and that called voodoo, right? So they just love this type of stuff, you know. You know what I mean? Voodoo Video Games Company. So, you know, obviously, you know, you can see the Hex Origins and the uh, the tea drinkers. And of course, you know, these songs, look at these different tea drinkers. Song, uh, of some, you know, song titles called Voodoo, you know. Even not Ice Tea, yeah, uh, Tea Drinker. You know, Black Sabbath. Never Brothers. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, the Spice Girls, you know, <laughs> Voodoo, right? Think about it, you know, Spice Girls, Voodoo, of course, you know. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, obviously Voodoo was very important. In the 1928 opera by Harry Lawrence Freeman. So a very important aspect of the hex, right? Which uh, hasn't been very much explored up the now, like, you know what I mean, Voodoo. A model of guitar, you see what I mean? So, you know, very, uh, of course, instrumental like in their uh, music, uh, playing hex, you know, or rather music is instrumental in hex, you know, playing the, uh, that's why they call it an instrument, isn't it? Because it's instrumental in making hex, magic spells and all that. So, obviously, this uh, voodoo is very, very big idea to them. And of course, a couple of sports teams call it the New Orleans Voodoo and the Vancouver Voodoos. So, totally weird, as you know. Of course, there are seven. Like the hockey stick seven and the, like a 33 type of idea and again very similar to them caduceus you know serpents symbols so you know always these goods yeah this is a, this is a very interesting uh, type of idea right um, a white mischief which is like a um, basically about a group of uh, British aristocrats who live in Kenya right, in 1941 nice sort of square and circle idea there you know in the um, Kenya colony so obviously you know Happy Valley region in the Kenya colony so you know this is basically guns into where uh, exactly you know what I'm talking about here how these upper class tea drinkers have this African type of history and all this you know Uh, 
is based on a book by a British journalist James Fox. You're not worried you know how the fox is this is the six six six. You remember the third six. And uh, upon on the nineteen thirty two novel Black Mischief. Again, you know like um wait, that looks charmed straight away, doesn't it? But, um, James Fox. This isn't the sort of the English James Fox, and of course that Fox family in there in Britain, all you know, like a very wealthy upper class family of aristocrats. You know, James Fox, Edward Fox, and all that stuff. Lawrence Fox and all that. But um, this is American one. But again, you know, it probably is related to the same bunch. You know what I mean? It's just like an American branch of the family or something. Yeah, yeah, because it just want to be you're in with the aristocrat club. The Earl of Errol. <clears throat> this is here yeah, the one that's uh, like a pun on or something. Black mischief. Evil and War, and this Evil and War done the year uh, the Bride said we visited one, which is obviously Bull Oxford and Cambridge or something. And they assisted by fellow Oxford graduate Basil Seal. So you know how the seal is basically the syringe. The fictional African island of Azania. So there's, you know, you see how the, uh, the upper class aristocrats mob love. You know, Africa and all that. No. Love the stuff. Of course, this would explain why, you know, you've got a hex here yeah, type of culture in Europe, see? Trace, like, the, trace it back, and it's basically um, voodoo just under a different guise, like, you know what I mean? See this right here, Kenya colony, and the um, commonly known as British Kenya or British East Africa, part of the British Empire in Africa. And of course, there's your transcode. There's your transcode. What I was dropping. Right. The, um, of course, when you have like this here, uh, colony of Kenya thing. Right. Where you get this character from, see? Instead of East Africa, it's West, because he's like for the Prophians, doing the Prophian rap music stuff and all that. You know? The Prophian type of thing, of course, you know, totally uh, ruined by the uh, upper class aristocrats and that. See? Yeah, the British Kenya Club and that. course yeah this one links you know links directly to um, Bruce Jenner you know so you've got your sort of trans ideas hidden in the open sea type of thing yeah but all these tea drinkers see who knows here yeah, looking at the um, white mischief like the cast the that does in it and you got the one called Jacqueline, Jacqueline Pierce, right? So you got the sort of the main line, main line of the substance side, yeah, and the Pierce. Pierce the skin and main line the substance in the skin, right? Of course, the Jack, like the, uh, you know, James Jacob and all that, again, right? And an interesting little um, actress, this one, right? And, uh, was in the BX7, the Black 7, you know? Obviously the Black Seven one, and then in the in the White Mischief, so a bit of what he called it there. <coughs> Black and white, see, and it produced sexual awakening for a generation of sci-fi fans, you know, of a trans, basically. Right? And of course, study at the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art. Right? 
and then was in this Plague of Zombies movie, which you know I've done a video about that one before. It's all about voodoo again, right? It's all about uh, an upper class aristocrat doing voodoo, practicing voodoo, and uh, running a tin mine in Cornwall. You know, Clive Hamilton, Sir Clive Hamilton, right? the tin mine, the tea injections. So, you know, totally coded stuff. The reptiles, obviously, you know, again, pretty similar type of this, you know, snake ideas, right? So, you know, very voodooish type of stuff, right? And uh, in this one and all, right? Doctor Who. You know, you're talking about Doctor Who, right? You're talking about um, the hoodoo, right? As you see here, right, that the hoodoo is folk magic, a lax organization and foundation, right? The difference between voodoo and hoodoo. So there's some type of subtle difference between them, but when you've got Doctor Who, it's obviously based on the hoodoo idea, right? Because that's what these uh, other class are all about. And that Doctor Who's basically come read from them, didn't it? The power of the Lord with African gods. See what I'm saying? There's some sort of subtle differences between the two. Of course, if you're talking about voodoo as a religion, right? The upper class, the upper class aristocrats would be practitioners of the religion. And the hoodoo is fuck magic. So it's magic used on the fuck. So it's like hex. See what I mean? Fork magic. Simple fork and that thing. It evolved from various traditional African religions. So you can see where to get it from, these upper class aristocrats, right? Interesting there that hoodoo practitioners often call upon Roman Catholic saints or biblical characters. So you know strange little differences between them and that. One for the sort of their profanes, I guess you know what I mean. So syncretic African diaspora religions. African diaspora religions. So I remember uh, King Creole and the Coconuts, they used to be a big uh, music act in Britain, like. Working the conjures. Magola. Of course, yeah, I've done uh, a few bits and pieces on Juju. It's basically, um, you know, like when you're talking about Jew idea, you're talking about the hex. So when, he, when obviously when people sort of repeat that uh, Jew conspiracy idea, they just be a silly hexing themselves all the time, you see. They just set it up as a hex. You know, this is the real deal type of thing. If you want to know about the, uh, who's responsible and what, you know, all that, this is the way you should look, see. Concealed from slaveholders. Again, sort of funny quotes. <laughs> you know, obviously they lead you to believe certain things about all this. Of course, yeah, to me, you know, this is even like uh, worse than the Jew type of idea. You know, when they sort of say about the, the Jewish stuff, right? Like the Jew conspiracy. They say things like, um, an often repeated phrase is some is something like uh, look to who look to who you can't criticize, right? When you sort of want to find out who's running things or stuff like that. But of course, right? If that goes like, you know, uh, about ten percent for the Jewish idea, it, it to me goes about hundred percent to the African idea. You know, you, you know what I mean? You can't criticize these equally if not more sewer. So than the Jewish idea, right? So um, I think there's a lot of uh, stuff in this one needs to be looked at. And uh, I probably didn't know a video on it, like.